Uh, we have two rotations of the tides every day. It takes about 12 and a half hours for the tides to come in and go out. And um, it's a 28 foot tide. So we have a 14 foot high and a 14 foot low. So right now we're approaching high tide. So what that is, is we have the Bay of Fundy that's 14 feet higher than the river. So it's flowing upstream, pushing the river back as far as 80 miles. Um, at slack tide, when the tide's going out, slack tide is when they're both at the same height and there's, there's water's perfectly calm. Then as you continue on down to low tide, it becomes 14 foot lower than the river. So the river is flowing out to sea, which is the natural direction. And then as the tide comes back in, it reverses the same process over again. The water in the river is about 75 feet deep, and the water in the harbor is about 200 feet deep. So there's like a rock ledge, like a big cliff that runs under the water, and runs right across. So as the water flows down over, it's all, it's all underwater, but the pressure of the water going down causes all kinds of turbulence and rapids. And uh, you see that primarily at, at low tide, but when at high tide the water's flowing upstream, you still get a lot of rapids, but what the water's doing is pushing its way up, and it pushes its way all the way up uh, to Hopewell Cape Rocks, which is about 80 miles upstream, and that's where you get the highest tides in the world. They're wow. about 50 feet high. So um, we'll go down, take a look at that. It's a 15 minute stop. Oh, I'm excited about seeing this. Reversing follows. So watch your step getting out, folks. The, the last step is a little bit high. And you'll see a wooden fence over there. Please stay on this side of the fence. Because if you go on the other side of the fence, it's a straight drop down into the falls. Here it is, you guys, reversing falls. I don't know where the falls is, though. <laughs> So it's because the water's not supposed to go that way? It's supposed to go that way? It's not it's supposed to go that way. That's what I thought. Or the ocean. Yeah. Right now it's not. Huh, it just keeps going. <laughs> but later it will. It's so weird. So cool. You guys see how neat this is? Look at the ducks. They're just like flowing backwards. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's like a lazy river. Look at them. It's so odd. I know. It's just rude. What? Oh, people scribbling on there? Yeah. yeah. That's so rude. That's cool, isn't it? Very cool. High tide, slack tide, low tide. It's really cool. It's funny just to, funny to see the, the, the docks are just like oh backwards. <laughs> the birds is the funniest. Yeah, thing. that's what I said. See them all there, like going backwards and then trying to come back. <laughs> It's like being a lazy river, Menara. Look at him. Oh Wee! <laughs> and there's the big old pink bus. I just want to say how much I love our tour. I mean, love. It's yeah. super informative, amazing. Oh, it's awesome. They said they built multiple bridges here and they were suspension bridges, and both of them got hit by lightning. These two have been here since they replaced them. He said those 12 large tanks are each filled with yeah. a million bottles of beer. That's Moose, that's Moosehead Breweries. Ooh, I'm gonna try some of that today. It's the last remaining brewery in Canada that's family owned and operated. Oh my operated. gosh. All the other breweries have been bought out by large corporations. Oh I believe so, yeah. The very front, uh, the front dormer, when you see it at this particular angle, it looks like something. Which? Can you see the, the dormer on that house over there? Can anybody oh tell me what it looks witch. like? The front window thing from the side looks just like a witch with a witch's hat. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Apartment for rent, Minara. I want it. <laughs> I love it. Right there, see it's like a witch with a hat and everything. Look! So this side of the city was no rustic story about, about this graveyard. Second largest graveyard in the city. Is Remember we spoke about Charles Gorman? There, the speed skater. Well, interestingly, he was buried in this graveyard and he didn't have a tombstone. And they just discovered that about five years ago that he was buried with no tombstone. So a lot of the local people got together and they got together with the city and they raised up enough money to get him a proper tombstone for his gravesite. 
So he had this real nice monument up at King Square, but then he was buried over here with no tombstone. That's the ocean out there. A lot of the seniors come over here and participate in lawn bowling. Seaside Park. And what that is, is it's, it's like a big golf green, and they, they do lawn bowling there. The British came over and they built a tower, and they called it Martello Tower. Martello. And Martello Tower is similar to to uh, defense towers that they built in, in, in Europe. That's right, and you'll see it right up here. And the tower itself is about 15 feet thick, the walls at the bottom, and they're about 17 feet, seven feet thick at the top. And uh, it's basically cannon proof. Wow. This is the fourth largest, busiest port in the shipping days of all the ports in the world. Yeah, and in later years they added an observatory on the top. In World War II, they, they would watch the harbor for U-boats. You know, they come around the back side of the tower yeah. and they see this big cemetery, big cemetery and they wouldn't cross hallowed ground. So that's why they would build a fake cemetery there. So the but actually in 1952 they started using it as a real cemetery. Oh my gosh, that's so <laughs> and they continued on until about 1876. Huh. So about 25 years or so they used it as a real cemetery. <laughs> that's cool, isn't it? About 23 miles across across the, the Bay of Fundy. Nova Scotia. Which can't see it right now. You folks might be heading there tomorrow, or maybe you're already over there. Well, we were already there. You weren't yesterday? Yeah. The, uh, the reddish colored rock, sandstone, uh, that's actually quarried about an hour's drive from here in really St. Pretty. George. They call it Granite Town. Wow. The, the, the granite and the sandstone there is all that reddish color, so you'll see it in different buildings. But that's all the gray stone there is all ship's ballast. You'll see the um, pillars on the front deck. Those are solid mahogany pillars. Whoa. That they got down off the port. He said that when they Back got in those the days, ships, the ship's ballast, 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 you know, people stuff. would burn it for firewood. They'd burn oak and mahogany in their fireplaces. <laughs> and the locals would come and get it when they'd unloaded the fort. They would do that today. It's about it. $6 a foot. Uh -huh. <laughs> Times on a foggy night, you can hear the ringing of a bell oh and, and a woman crying. This is the ham house. So about. it has a ghost story. So there. the inside do dimensions don't match up with the outside dimensions. And another dimensions. interesting fact is ever since that home was built, all the women that lived there have had the same initials, J H. And that's a true story. They all have had that same initial. I think there might be a hidden room or something in it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this, Next home on my side here, on this corner, this yellow home with the red trim, that's the Fry house. Mm. That's where Dr. Fry's home was. Here's the show. And he's famous for performing the first medical procedure on a patient while they were under anesthetic. Wow. So he performed what a the first, first operation round here. camp. There was a cruise ship headed for Portland, Maine, and there was a big storm that day, so they called St. John Harbor and they asked for permission to dock here instead because of the, so they could avoid the storm. So they got permission to dock here in St. John. And when the mayor and council heard that there was gonna be a cruise ship coming, they pulled out all the stops. They set up live entertainment. Uh, they set up a market. But they greeted the passengers when they came off the ship and they gave all the ladies a red rose. And they gave the gentlemen a uh, little St. John pin for their lapels. Oh and uh, when news got back to the cruise ship industry of how hospitable the townspeople were and how much history there was here in town, they've been coming back ever since. So now today we have over 80 cruise ships that visit our, our city every summer. That's really cool. So it all got started by accident. <laughs> look, you guys, look at the ship. It's, uh, it has Beautiful. a real high the salt ship content. Of the city. I love this place. So the, the high salt content a lot. is just like the ocean. It doesn't freeze. This Cranberry Trail, the red walkway, goes from over the cruise ship yeah, is all the way through here, downtown. all the way to reversing pop, you guys. You can walk. Yeah. That's awesome. But you can walk along the Cranberry Trail and you cranberry can trail. see lots of... What did you think of it? Just get him. Yeah. Just oh. him here. Maybe three. So informative. So fun. So it's really easy to grab. And you're sad it's over. I am. I'm very sad. 
and I, I smell beaver tails. <laughs> that was fun. That was awesome. Yeah. And you guys, they didn't mention anything about tips, but we did leave them a $10 bill for them to share. Because it's just something that you do when you go on tours a lot of times. The Caribbean, they ask, yeah. you know. But they didn't say anything, but let's go around here. It's just nice to do if you can. Didn't see any poutine except for that future poutine being built yesterday. At least we can get a Disney spring. We're just standing here eating the backpack and I looked behind Amy on the menu and I saw poutine. Where? Right there, on the menu. Where? <gasps> poutine! Oh my goodness! Okay, here you go. That's a beaver tail, you guys. Everybody's like, you gotta try a beaver tail. Okay, there it is. And uh, so you can get cinnamon sugar, maple spread, cheesecake, cookies, whatever, all that kind of stuff. Wow, poutine. There you go. Yeah, but we should get the maple. It's a maple some spread, sugar. Minara. Fine, fine. I want to eat it. I don't want to have it. Ew, I don't, don't, like, I don't like fried stuff, so I'm just going to have a bite of yours. Okay, I'll get poutine, you get a beaver tail. I'll try yours. Okay, because I don't think I like poutine that much. Yeah. So you're getting the cinnamon sugar. I was going to say poutine. I know. <laughs> beaver tail, and I'm going to get the poutine. She actually makes it. She has a dough in the fridge, and she stretches it out, puts it in the fryer. <laughs> Here comes yours, Manara. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. She said Putin. I don't know if that's what it is, but maybe it is, huh? I don't know. I'll have take a picture for you that, you know. <laughs> Can you be for having one? Mm. It does smell good. Yeah. <laughs> we're finally gonna have our beaver tail. I can't believe we were... Yeah, I didn't know anything about it know, until someone on Instagram was like, you need to try a beaver tail. I'm like, what? Well, it's not real beaver, is it? <laughs> yeah. Our yeah. We found them both here at the same place. Yeah. So cool. And it's a stand, you guys, right here. Right down there is the ship. Just right there. Thank you. Oh, oh that's wee. so hot. <laughs> it smells so good. Okay. Okay. This is super hot. I can't hold both of okay, okay. these. Okay. So, careful. Holy cow, look at it. Put it in oh my gosh, this is real poutine in there. We're going back here to this market wharf place square thing down here where we first started out to eat. I think my poutine shrunk. It was like higher up. Because <laughs> there's Wi Fi and seats, and I want to try some beer from somewhere. Yeah, and air conditioning, which it feels like air conditioning outside. Holy cow, it's amazing. The stuff at Disney Springs is pretty authentic too. But it's just delicious. You guys should try it, man. And now is that. Amazing? Like out of 10, one to 10? I'll be back. 10? Oh my gosh. Oh my this is gosh. so cool. I'm going in here. The St. John Ale House. We're at the pub downstairs, upstairs a restaurant. Oh, because like restrooms and bar says you never heard anyone say that so excitedly before. It doesn't say washrooms, it says restrooms. So I don't know. Um, he said quite a few of these are local like within the 20 mile radius and I don't know really that much about it. So I told him I don't care for IPA or the red kind of ales and he's just got me a flight coming of four local samplers. So I'm just gonna try that. That, nothing, oh my gosh. Yesterday, I wish I'd bought a whole six pack of that raspberry wheat ale. It was amazing. It's one of those things that I'm always gonna keep thinking about. I wonder if they sell it here. <gasps> they do! <gasps> Okay, and you have my face on camera. I remember, I was just like, I wonder if they sell it here. And then I looked down and I saw Garrison Raspberry Wheat. Oh my God. I wanted a cup so bad yesterday. I wanted a big old cup. And then he says, first of all, they had run out. And second of all, they only had little cups. And then I only bought one bottle for me to take home and I'm buying me one of those right now. See, Garrison Raspberry Wheat. Yes. My flight, maybe Pump House Blueberry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pump House Blueberry, they make it around here. Petite Salt, S-A-U-L-T, and Dooryard. So this is my flight, and then guess what? Here's my big old pint of raspberry wheat yes, from yesterday in Nova Scotia. That's what she wanted so bad, she wanted to talk about it. Mm. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh my god. I like light, but not too light. I don't want flavorless. I like good flavor, not too bitter. I like it when it's bready, you know. This is all those things, but a little tiny refreshing raspberry taste, which 
you really can't, it's not like a really big raspberry taste. It's like the raspberry and the bready taste is just amazing. Mmm, that's what I wanted yesterday. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. I'm about to be a beer waster. I absolutely do not like this, maybe. The blueberry one is okay, but if I don't like it, I don't want to really drink it. I don't care for that one at all, but that one is the most put offing, excuse me, off putting taste to it, man. I'll try the final one. I think I might be just drinking that one. But hey, I want to try them. At least I tried local beers. If Elizabeth were here, she would drink these. She would just like drink them, like the disposal. <laughs> I love her for that. But I had to waste them. I wasted two cups yesterday. I'm about to waste these too. I just can't. If it's not, if I don't like it, it's just hard to drink, you know? Is this a hatchet? Rip. Yeah, rip. This one, I'm not gonna say what it tastes like, but I did not enjoy them whatsoever, and I actually cannot make myself drink them. So I'm going to enjoy this. Earlier today, what was that place called? The Market? I was reading a book right now, a good book. Where she got her gelato, he was selling these fresh rolled waffle cone things dipped in chocolate and butterscotch. I had to eat my chocolate one, which was melted, to get this taste of the beer out of my mouth so I can enjoy the rest of this beer, which is the best beer I have ever had. It's my favorite ever. My other favorite is Einstock from Norway. Icelandic. I swear it must have gotten 20 degrees hotter in the last hour we've been in there, hour and a half. It's actually hot right now. It's hot. Weird. We're walking across the street. Right there's the wharf place we were at, using the Wi-Fi and trying the beer and stuff. Walk across the street to that Barber's General store. And then we're walking back to the ship. We have to be back like an hour and 20 minutes. Listen, it counts Twelve, down. 11, 10, 9, <laughs> So odd. I was expecting a lot more stuff in here. <laughs> you know? I'm getting this seaweed. And look, I came to look at the chips from Arbor, but they're lobster chips. Yeah. Let's get a couple bags to try. You want to try anything? Montreal steak, spice, pickle. What's that? Sea salt and pepper. Try this one, I guess. Ketchup. Yeah. No, it's good. Sweet potato and sea salt. Because someone sent me some ketchup chips and other chips from Canada, and they were really good. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's the coolest place, isn't it? I see that earlier, Mara. Look, 1920 World's first wrapped yes. candy bar. I tried it earlier today. You have tried? Is it good? I did try it. Oh. There's so many things that sound like a tour. Like, that says World's first wrapped candy bar. Today, they said that this, what was it, uh, Red Rose? The oh. Down on the way over to the bay today, that that guy invented the using the little tea bags, you know, for tea. And there was other things too, darn it. That I had no idea of. Oh, that's my favorite one. Yeah, the first surgery under on, uh, first doctor to perform surgery on a patient under anesthesia. There you go. All so. these things here, and I had no clue, and I didn't know that was the first wrapped candy bar. Here's a sign again of the tour we did. Look, it's actually by St. John Transit City Bus Tour Guided Tour of Historic St. John. There's the phone number. Totally, totally, way above 100% recommend that. That's totally what I would do. I would even do it again. It's awesome. Yeah. Look again how pretty it is. So beautiful, isn't it? And there's the ship. What a wonderful, wonderful day. And I love it here so much. I totally want to come back. Yeah. I like this more than the port yesterday, but I didn't drive around the port yesterday. True. But this is just more, I don't know, it seems more historic and... Uh, more things to do. Yeah, it's true. But then again, we didn't drive around, so... so I have time, I have money. <laughs> I really wish I could have found some more of those little maple candies. I'm hoping I do. Huh? That's what I was thinking. There were these little, the little maple candies, I showed you the hard candies. They're a quarter, but I know they gotta have like a bag of them. That's what I buy on Amazon. I buy a whole gallon of maple syrup, just like this. Ooh, I've been wanting soda all day too, I'm so bad. Ooh. I don't see anything like local. But you found them. Ooh. That's like funny, they were a quarter each earlier. How many's in that bag, you think? I'm just curious. No I was hoping like a bigger bag. Well, <laughs> Those are so darn good. Oh, they were amazing, you guys. Like just maple syrup and a light little candy. Look, look, that's the brand they made here, the Red Rose. 
Uh-huh. The original dude, right? Yeah, the original dude. This right here. Funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Bah humbug. It's a delicious candy for the Scrooge in you. <laughs> like what even? <laughs> Who makes that? So they have them for a quarter each and they had them in little baggies, the little candies. I got one to put in the giveaway we did yesterday for the... What was it called? Keychain. Keychain. They're so good. They're just like maple syrup, hardened. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cherish those. I heard, that, I heard a stereotype, or maybe this is true, that Canadians pour maple syrup in snow in the winter and wait for it to scoop me and stick mm -hmm. it, take it up with a stick and eat it. Mm. People tell me that's true. Is that true, true, you guys? We have a lot of Canadian people it, watching. I don't so. know if that's true or not. Peace out, this is true. Have you done that? Do you know anyone who has done that? Oh my gosh, look, Nara, it's nuts. Seasoned nuts. It's the best Wi-Fi I've ever seen in any port anywhere. Everywhere. Outside this door and this whole terminal, everywhere. Free. And it works super fast. We have to check our soda in the alcohol table to pick up the last night of the cruise because they really are strict and you cannot bring any beverages back on board. Usually it's just alcohol, but it's like Norwegian. So yeah, all cruise lines are different and Norwegian stayed in and last year, like a year ago, they said no beverages to be brought on board and they mean soda, water, everything. And I thought, well, maybe they just mean on embarkation day. No, they mean like, even if you go on a port like me and you want to buy a soda from a local store, they don't want you to bring it on board. And someone like me who'd like to try stuff, I don't like that at all because I always bring back food and drinks. They're trying to prevent you from drinking it here, yeah, and um, get you to buy more on the ship. But uh, he says, that if I take it, I'll have to confiscate it. I said, no. I said, take it and bring it to me the last night of the cruise like it's alcohol. I said, I don't want you to throw it away. I don't want you to... I want my bottle. If I wasn't going to drink it, I would have drank it earlier. So that's what they did. They gave me a tag for it. So I'll get that with my bottle of my bottles of beer on the last night of the cruise. And if they try to say, oh, you can have it, just tell them to pretend it's alcohol and keep it until the last night of the cruise. That's crazy. I mean, one bottle. I think that's stupid. A bottle of local bringing, soda. Like, let's say you have like a pack of like Coke or something. You're trying to remember. I can understand yeah. that. One local soda. It's just, it's just. A little come bit on, extreme. come on. It is. That's. I mean, uh, I guess they have to go all extreme. I wonder how many people. I think they can hear my shoes squeaking. It's like a echoing across a the friend halls. now. I just hear that all the time. Listen. I don't. Want, when I bought them, it just started. They never squeaked. In New York, I think? And then, like, in New York, they just started squeaking. Only the right one. That's safe. It. Our safe is, like, falling apart. This yeah, the right one to it. just started squeaking all of a sudden, and it won't That's stop. Funny. And my helmet had tightened it, or what I'm trying to do. You've, get, you've just... really given them a lot of work the last 10 yeah. days. So now whenever it's quiet, you can just hear, like, squeak. Squeak. Oh! oh it's like our little bear. It's like a little bear. Oh, oh, it's so cute. I was gonna look. I said oh, we're on the wrong side. You could put this on your chair outside, and then when you're going off the ship, you can find your cabin by seeing where the little towel animal is. Yeah, that's a cute idea. I like that. We were thinking about not going to dinner and having a night in and getting room service. Yes. Because I had salmon in there. Oh, interesting. I was wondering what that smell was in here. It says wet varnish on our. Uh, as in like. As in, oh, they painted the balcony railing. Uh -huh. Remember, it was like old looking. I thought it was old. Pew. Now. Yeah. Well, just revarnished it nice. today. They're still working. Some more yummy uh, chocolates. And a strawberry. Oh, I get a little pie thing. I want the pie mm. thing. It's we can't mine. have it right now because no, we'll share it all. I'm gonna show you guys the room service menu. Where did these things come from? They all came from here. I'll put them in when I'm done. Um, they have free, you know, breakfast because Norwegian does charge for Norwegian? room service. Norwegian, and I think that Royal Caribbeans are doing that too. There's a free room service breakfast stuff. Okay, all I need is like a pizza and some This milk. is not Maybe free. Cookies. This is regular room service. Pizza, cheese. A seven ninety five convenience charge will be added to your check. So that's the stuff you can order. I had the pizza you might want to get, honey. I had grilled salmon on the pearl and it was delicious. What is the time, miss? 6.44. It's not 6.44. 4. 44. Because <laughs> if it was, we would be long gone from here. Okay, 4.44, back on board at 5.30. Oh, Amy, it's happening again. Oh, hello. That was hey. wet. 
Huh? I thought it was fun. Yeah. Afternoon. Mm -mm. Garden Cafe at 5 o'clock. Stare him awkwardly, like this. I'm joking about doing that. He's still varnishing it. That means it's going to be smelly all night. Last night we slept with the door cracked a foot. <gasps> because the neighbors are loud. <laughs> They're loud and all you hear is no, 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 no. Don't do that. That's all you hear. So we had to open the door a foot and uh, we heard the waves and it was amazing. Okay, the buffet starts at 5 and dining room starts at 5 and 5.30. So I don't know what to do. Mediterranean. I just Is it themed every night? Must you just popped your spine, huh? Yes. Tonight's Mediterranean. Last night was, night number one was normal. Ow. Regular old food, I think. Day two was Bahamian Caribbean. Well, I kind of just wish they had regular old food. Maybe they do. Let's go look. Let's go now. Here's what I got. They have a shawarma station up there, I think it was called, with the pitas and all the little toppings and the meat, which looks so good. But there's no way I can have that at 5.30 at night. Couscous salad. I got a piece of pizza, chicken, chicken pizza, plain butter noodles from the little make your own noodle station. A roll, and then this the other night, it's the bananas. I told them to put, I asked them to put lots of bananas in it. It's Nutella with bananas, but I asked for extra bananas, so it's very delicious. They make it for you up there. And I think we're ready to leave. Such a fun tour today. You know, that little tour made me feel like I really got to know the city a lot. This would be hard to walk around in this city because there's so many hills. What'd you get? Oh, you like that meat? Yeah. What kind is it? I don't know. It's like beef stew with like mm. or so or something. Mm. I don't know what that is. You see a shawarma up there and you like it in Orlando. Is it? So many people coming. We're leaving in less than 10 minutes. There's so many people coming right now. I would never cut it up though, honestly. You never know what, what could True. be you. I don't True. Know. It could be anything really. I don't think I've ever seen that many people come in the last minute before. That's what I'm saying. We're just like pouring it. You know what I wish that all buffet dining rooms had? Yeah. They had on the Celebrity Summit. Um, they had at the back of the buffet, they had a grill area where they had chicken, fish, steak, all kinds of fresh meat, and you just told them what you wanted, how you wanted to cook, and they just made it for you. So you could just go up there and just get some protein. That's what I, right, right now, I would love to just have a piece of fish, a piece of chicken. Just that's all I need. I just wanted some protein. You know what I mean? Um, I didn't really care for dinner tonight, but it's okay. It's my fault that I can't eat a lot of the flavored foods uh, because of this time of night. I have can't really eat after five or six and I'm tired. So if I ate what I want to eat right now, I'd be up to at least one or two in the morning and I don't want to do that. Last night I went to bed at 10 because I just had that plain piece of steak and those little pastas. And it was so good. So mm, good. Wasn't it good? I'm going to show them the shawarma section before we leave. No, I mean I do, but I'm not going to have any. <laughs> Sugar. It doesn't do good with me. Well, ever it's not good for me, but not at night time. Pasta station. There's like um, fish and stuff, but I want to show you this station over here. Oh, there it is. Chicken shawarma. See? That look good. Put them in little pita shells and there's cheese and all kinds of stuff. Look at that. That looks delicious. If it was lunchtime right now, I would totally eat one of those. That looks good too. That right there. It, it is gone instantly. Like everyone. Oh, I would eat that too. And that one that she had, which was delicious. Very, very good. That turkey scallopini looks delicious. Mmm, so many good things. Let's go. I'm hungry. <laughs> Man, what was your favorite part of the tour today? Um, the house, the, just seeing all the houses and hearing the history behind them. The ones over there across the bridge? The old, old, old yeah, ones? Yeah, and, and just, I think all of them in a whole, too. Just, it was so interesting. Oh, so you know, interesting. Way more, I think there's more interesting. I like that girl's house that had like it looked like the witch on the side, yeah, the that gothic house. architecture. My oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And also I like this the, the Titanic, Titanic story was story. cool. That was a pretty house. I just like seeing all those gorgeous old houses. And um, just like learning about all the facts, the little uh -huh. facts I didn't know about the city at all. Yeah. And I like the way the city is laid out. The parks, the beautiful old buildings, all the stores, and I just like it a lot. It's really warm out here, actually. The breeze isn't cold anymore. Do you notice that? Yeah, I noticed that. It was, it was like a warm breeze. no sun out anymore. Yeah, look at the fishies in the pool. <laughs>
not too crazy busy. This cruise is so different from other cruises, isn't it? Very, 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 very different. Laid back and uh, laid back. not crazy. Not crazy like the Caribbean. <laughs> and I didn't know about that Cranberry Trail. Is that what you called it? I think so. Wow. I mean, that is a long walk. But it basically just goes down the water here, over there under the bridge. And then once you got to the bridge, there's a hill with all the old houses, but you'd have to cross over the mountain, wouldn't you? Over the hill there to go to the reversing falls. There's the fork thing. Uh -huh. It's not really that far, but that would be a long walk. Wow. Oh. He said that he said that the McDonald's here have lob McLobsters. McLobsters. Like a McRib, but McLobster. Now I would I would try that just to say that I tried it, but there's no McDonald's, McDonald's here. Well, I mean, if it's if it's in this little town, because he said it was like right here, not just a Canadian thing. It yeah. Would probably just be there, fresh, good lobster, not like a chain lobster. No, case. probably not. Probably. It's not cheap lobster, you know. He said it's in the maritime Canada areas, and we passed one, but we did, you know, we didn't stop at one, or I would have totally tried it. Yeah. It's so peaceful out here. Bye, New Brunswick. I really do hope to be back one of these days. It's awesome. I'd love to bring another family too. It's 5.30. Time to go. Yay! And we're retiring for the evening. Oh, yeah. Probably go to bed like at 8 even because mm -hmm. just shower and go to bed. Because um, we have to get up early I believe because tomorrow is... Maine. Maine is um, Bar Harbor and I do believe that that's where we tender in. So good weather, good seas, we can tender in. Close. And we're gonna be hopefully on the first tender, so that's yes. so why we have to get to bed early. But it was a great day. It was a wonderful day. Good night, you guys. <laughs>